Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today, we're going to look at the topic, the keyboard. We're going to start off by defining two concepts and then move into the various parts of the keyboard. Keyboarding is a process of typing and selecting text on the keyboard. The keyboard is a device that resembles a typewriter and is used to enter data into the computer. There are many forms of keyboards, but the one that is most commonly used is known as a QWERTY keyboard. And the word QWERTY is derived from the first six letters in the alphanumeric section of the keyboard. Now the keyboard has four main parts. There are other parts that are not a part of these main parts that will also be looked at to give a comprehensive view of what is on the keyboard. It has the function keys, the alphanumeric keypad, the cursor keys, and the numeric keypad. Now we're going to look at them in greater details. The function keys are located above the alphanumeric keypad and are used to activate specific commands that the computer can perform. They are labeled F1 to F12. The alphanumeric keypad. This consists of four rows of alphabetical and numerical keys to enter data into the computer. The arrow keys. This is also referred to as the directional or cursor control keys. There are four arrow keys located at the bottom right hand side of the keyboard. They are used to move this place to the right, to the left, up or down on the screen. The numeric keypad. This is located at the right of the keyboard. It is set up like a calculator and deals strictly with numbers. The numlock key is used to activate the numbers. The other categories of keys include modifier keys, and modifier keys change or modify the functions of the character keys. They are shift key and the caps lock key. The shift key allows the selection of capital letters when depressing the alphabet characters or selecting characters above numeric keys. Caps lock allows every letter to be typed into capital letters when the light is on. Default keys. This includes the insert key, which is used to insert a character within a text, the delete key, which is used to delete a character to the left of the cursor, the home key, which is used to move the cursor to the beginning of the line, page up, moves one page up, page down, moves down one page, and the enter key. This is used to move the cursor to the end of the line. Then we have the system keys. They include the control key and the alternate key, and both these keys are used in combination with other keys. It also has the escape key, which is located at the top left-hand corner of the keyboard and allows you to quit or exit a task. The enter key. This is used to enter command or to move to the beginning of the next line or paragraph. Backspace is used to remove characters to the left of the cursor. Tab key is used to move the cursor to any desired location. Scroll lock temporarily stops the scrolling of a text and print screen. This allows you to take a picture of the computer screen and copy it to the clipboard. And you have the space bar. The space bar is said to be the longest key on the keyboard and it is used to insert a blank space after each word and after punctuation marks. That's it for the keyboard. If you like this video, please share and subscribe. And I have other videos coming out that will be of great importance to you in this subject area. Thank you for watching. Do enjoy the rest of your day.